From inside Tropicana Field in Tampa Bay, today the finale of this three-game weekend set, it's the Cleveland Guardians taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. John Shambi on the play-by-play with you. Chris Singleton providing the color, and we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two, and regardless of how important a series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Coming up on the first pitch, and on the mound now, Zach Eflin. What should we keep an eye on here? Yeah, he gave up several earned runs his last time out. I think command is a huge issue for him, and fastball command. He's got to trust it. He's got good velocity. Attack hitters with it in this one. Ready to go now. So in now for Cleveland, Stephen Kwan. Strike on the inside corner. And away we go this afternoon. Next offering is in for a strike. He goes down looking. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. And that one fouled off. All in one now. That one pushed foul. Oh, and two now. This to third. Walls throws to first. Quick start to this afternoon's action. Two gone. Third, the third baseman. Now it's Jose Ramirez. Homered in the ball game yesterday afternoon. That's in there. That's strike one. Called strike right there. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down in 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Next offering misses. One and two to count. Up the middle. On to first. Yep, that up. ends the frame. We're midway in inning number one. Now it's the Rays' turn. No score. Back now in Tampa Bay and getting the start. Zach Plesak. A really good outing for him last time. Scattered two runs, was attacking hitters, getting ahead in the count. Great performance. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. We go to the bottom of the first, and here now go. here Over is Ray. Luke Rayleigh. Luke Rayleigh. The wind and the pitch. And that one a little bit high. One ball, no strike. Bounce to the right side. Toss to Naylor, one up, one down. Here's Tony Kemp. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. Clips the corner. Oh, with two now. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really is a way to beat the shift. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. Just kept it simple, played pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from and there's just no one there to knock it down. Here's Wander Franco, one of the stars in the win yesterday as he had three hits. Hit in the air, right field. Franco gone on the play. And there's two down. And now it's Brandon Lau. Three for seven in the series so far. First pitch doesn't find the zone.
Riding to the plate. This one in the air center field. Valera moving under it. And that is that. One left for Tampa. We played an inning. No score. New inning getting started. And here's the first baseman, Josh Naylor. The wide to kick the pitch. Naylor. Naylor tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. He did not go around. Hit hard on the ground to short. Sends it to first. And a quick out number one. That is it. The right fielder. Oscar. Oscar Gonzalez, Gonzalez. Digs in for the Guardians. First offering. Misses the mark. No score here in the second. Next offering is in for a strike. Clyde Washington with home plate duties in this one. A little bit of a low zone boog from Clyde. Nothing crazy, though. Pitchers that work consistently down around the knees and are able to command their off-speed stuff tend to have some pretty good success with him back there behind the plate. What about some no-nos? Like, you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah. Even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name. And... Uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player. Here's Josh Bell. Going one. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> that's great. Ahmed. And now it's Rosario. Ahmed Rosario. He swings and fouls one off. <laughs> that one finds the zone. And a count is 0-2. Bell, the runner at first with two gone. Ah, no pitch signaled now. And a balk is being called. And here it comes. On a line, base hit. Bell around third. Now a long throw home. It's off the mark, and he scores. And it's 1 0. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. At the play, George Valera. First pitch, and he just misses. And another oh. ball. Swing and a miss. Come Two on. and one now. Outside corner, there's a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt. Runner, runner, and the hitters. Runner. Rosario on the move. That's a base hit. Throw comes in quickly, so even with the runner on the move, he holds it second. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Henry Davis digs in for the Guardians. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Inside corner for a strike. First and second, two down. And now it's nope. even up. Two two. Got it. Good job at damage control right there. So one run in the inning on this base hit. And the home team down a run. This is Rays Baseball on the show, Florida. Here at Tropicana Field, we head to the bottom of the second. Francisco Mejia coming up to hit. Please set back to work. Swing and a ball popped up. Straw has a beat on it. One down. Batting six. 
Here's Lane Thomas. That one's in there on one. Looks like he sacrificed a pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. And that one is lifted in the air. Valera on his horse. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Batting seven. The first Harold game. Ramirez at the dish. That one's in there, and it's 0-1. First pitch strike right there for him. He's going to have to do that consistently if he's going to give any length to his skipper. Fly ball to right. Gonzalez moves under this one and makes the play, and that's out number three. Down in order go the Rays. They trail here 1-0. Welcome back. Now it's going to be Stephen Kwan. The left fielder. Eflin back to work. And there's a ball. Oh, Steven Kwan is making a name for himself. Okay. He won the College World Series playing at Oregon State. He played along with Adley Rutschman and Nick Madrigal, and he took home a gold glove his first year in the majors, 2022. We're going to talk about a guy who makes great contact. Hard to throw it past him. He does not swing and miss very often. Stepping up for the Guardians, Miles Straw. On the ground to first, Ramirez. On the run, throw to first. And a couple of quick outs. Now batting, third baseman, Jose Ramirez. Here's Jose Ramirez. And Cleveland on top, one zip. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Ramirez, a former All-Star, 30 years old now. And he's driven in double-digit runs over his last 10 games. No. The next oh. offering misses. And that is ball one. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And a pitch. Fights that one away. Still one and two. In the dirt. Mejia gets it to first. And Ramirez is set down. Guardians go down in order. Set for the bottom of the third. Stepping in, Josh Lowe. The center fielder. The pitch. Lowe getting the start in center. In the eighth spot in today's lineup. A former first round pick. Back in 2016. On the ground, right side. The flip to the pitcher covering. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Batting nine. The third baseman, Taylor. Taylor Walls. Next to hit for the Rays. 0 for 6 in the series so far. Pitch is in there. Strike one. Walls measures 5 feet 10 inches. 185 pounds, usually a short stop, but today starts at third. That one's in there. That is strike two. One thing he has to remember is that he does not have to cover as much ground. So those balls to his left, remember that you got a good shortstop that can make the backhanded play for you. One down, base is empty. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. He got that front foot down, and pitch recognition was on point. Pretty impressive for an 0-2 count. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Luke Rayleigh now at the plate. In there, and it's 0-1. Kicks and fires. And it's fouled away. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Here's the 0-2. 
Ball one there. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout, just didn't locate it very well. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Clearly hoping he could get a swing and miss on that, but doesn't fool the hitter with that breaking ball. Nice job, just couldn't keep it fair. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Tony Kemp will hit next, and he's already singled in this game. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Popped up first base side. And it stays fair. The run scores from second. It's 1-1. One -one. Now the tag at second, and he's out, trying for two. Now batting Wander Franco. Line out his first time. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Now the 0-1. Swings through that one out in front that time. That one ran inside, almost got him. Fly ball down the right field line. If it's fair, it's gone. And that is gone. He made him pay for that one. His 17th of the year. It's 3-1. ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Lau at the plate. He's 0 for 1. Ball 1, no strikes. Ground ball, Naylor. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. And this is now a three-one ball game. You're dialed into the show. And welcome back as we go to the top of the fourth. Now at the plate, Josh Naylor. Josh. Naylor. And that one just misses one ball. a ball okay. and no strikes. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go one out ball. there, have one a strike. shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. One ball. And one, one and two. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Oscar Gonzalez digs in for the Guardians. And that's in there for strike one. You know, these Guardians showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one that's run, one. but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. In the dirt, blocked. And an excellent job keeping it right there. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. The pitch. Swing and a miss struck him out. I'll tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up 
a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. Bell stands in now and watches strike one. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Hammer, base hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Everything came together for him. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. So first and second with one man gone. And up next for Cleveland, Ahmed Rosario. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Naylor, the lead runner at second. Bell at first, one gone. Kemp, there's one. Oh. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. Well, the second baseman made that one look easy. Great feed to the shortstop. Shortstop completes the play. They get out of a jam, and they end the inning. Going, yeah, we in go mode. Going, going, yeah, we in go mode. Going. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the inning. Now up for Tampa Bay, Francisco Mejia. The right-hander back to work. Just missed. Well, these Rays really impressed me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. Looking at the numbers, they've got four hits when they're behind in the count. That says these guys are absolutely battling at the plate and just not giving up, despite what the count says. Right side, hard hit. Tosses to first, and one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. And if you're a manager or a hitting coach, you love to see your guys really fighting for every at bat, every pitch. It tells you a lot about how they showed up to the ballpark today. Thomas in the box now, no balls and a strike. Ground ball up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. That leaves him without a throw, and he's out at first. Man at first, Harold Ramirez, the next to hit. And that's in for a strike. In the air, right field. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Gonzalez throws to second, and that's the second out of the inning on the force play. Oh, wow, this is one of those plays that happens sometimes, but it never really should. It seems like he just got a bad read on the ball, and the good throw from the outfield was perfect to get the out. And the batter now, Josh Lowe. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Lead runner around second. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. He was all over that one. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. So digging in, Taylor Walls. And ball one. If he can get through this one, put up a zero, this will help in his outings to come. And that one hit to first. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And that is that. So the Rays strand a pair as the lead remains 3-1. All set for the start of the inning. So in now for Cleveland, George Valera. George Valera. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Guardians need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so... It could... Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Forget it! Way back there and gone. A solo shot. Home run number 10 of the year. It's 3-2. Working with this kind of velocity so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. 
clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. And next is the Guardians catcher, Henry Davis. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Bounce to the left side. Slings it across. One away here in the fifth. Now batting left fielder Stephen Kwan. Here's the left fielder Stephen Kwan. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. Stephen Kwan pretty active on the bases, and not surprising. His favorite players growing up were two really good base runners, Ichiro Suzuki and Dave Roberts. The 0-2. looking that's a strikeout that right there will drive you crazy as a hitter that pitch has no business being called a strike it's definitely not what the pitcher was trying to do with the curveball in any count let alone a two strike count so the umpire right there he's just rewarding a bad pitch strong the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one up the middle on the run, sends it over to first. Oh, Not in time, he legs it out. Did a nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw, you know? Yeah, no question. Jose Ramirez digs in for the Guardians. Ramirez swings and blasts one deep to right field, and that ball is gone. Jose Ramirez bops one out. And just like that, they're out front. It's 4-3. Well, that swing changes things. Yes, it does. They were in striking distance. They found a way to fight back big time. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Here's Josh Naylor. That one's in there, and that's strike one. Bounced up the middle, and that chance handled. Whips it to first. And that is that. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now a 4-3 ball game. Back now in Tampa Bay. Now here is Luke Rayleigh. The wind of the pitch. That's off the mark, and that's ball one. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. And out number one on the grab. The batter, number nine. Second baseman. And now, Tony Kemp. In there for strike one. Home team down a run as the Rays try and punch back down a run. That's hard hit in the line. Calls it in, two away. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will now be a man. very positive sign for him and for his team. Wander Franco digs in now. He's already homered here in this one. And that is in for a strike. It's 0-1. That one missed. Next offering is fouled back. Two outs. That one way outside. Now two and two. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away.
Franco checks his swing. Appeal down to third. And Ed Drummond right on it says he held up. Now this is in the air down the line. Franco gone on the play. And the inning is over. Rays held in check here. They still trail it here, four to three. Welcome back. Start of the six, John Chambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Oscar Gonzalez. Gonzalez. And the pitch. And there's the strike, Gonzalez. Measures six feet, two inches. 25 years old. And he was born in the Dominican Republic. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. High fly ball out to center field. Low tracks it down for the out. And now the switch hitting first baseman Josh Bell. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. That one catches the zone. That's strike one. That's Ooh. through there for a strike. The 0 2. Bell checks his swing, appeal to third, and he couldn't hold back. He's rung up on strikes. Well, he made pretty quick work of him right there. You look at the sequence, everything down at the knees and below, and some guys are good low ball hitters, but right there, they clearly had a plan to pound that part of the. Zone, and he wasn't able to put up much of a fight. Next to hit, Ahmed Rosario. And downstairs. That misses, and it's 2-0. Oh. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact, so not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind it. That's a strike. And he hits a ground ball right side. Kemp gets it to first. And that will end the inning. Three up, three down that time. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. Guardians four and the Rays three. Well, we go bottom six. And the batter will be the short. Not short stop. Stop. Brandon Lau. And a pitch. There's the strike. Now one and one. One and one. One and two now. Swing and he popped it up. Straw has a beat on it. He's got it. And there's one down. Up next for Tampa Bay. The catcher. Here's the catcher to hit, Francisco Mejia. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. The pitch. Good eye right there. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why, getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. That pitch clips the outside corner. Now two balls and a strike. Righty delivers. Good job to fight that one off. On the ground. Tosses to first, two up, two down. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Lane Thomas, one for two. 
That's in there. And that is strike one. Cleveland has some action going in their pen. Eli Morgan preparing to come on if needed. And pitch in for a strike. And it's 0-2. Two. two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. The pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Rays go in order. One, two, three. Score holds at 4-3. Yanni Chirinos comes on now. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Leading off, George Valera. He's already homered in this game. Here comes a pitch. That's a strike. Going one. No ball. One strike. Just missed. One, two. Goes down looking. Henry Davis now at the plate. And that's in for a strike. Chirinos. He's got some good and some bad. The positive is he doesn't walk very many guys. But, Chris, the problem is that he is prone to giving up some homers. And it's flip a coin because the good thing is that you can bring a guy like this in with the bases loaded and not worry about walking in a run. But on the other side, if he gives up one of those homers, it counts for four. Zips it across and two away to start now the seventh. The left fielder. Now the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. Good contact guy, good defender. Swing and a base hit. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Strong in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. One for three. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. The other way. That's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Jose Ramirez next, will hit next. The third baseman. Jose and there's a foul ball. The next pitch misses, and that's ball one. That one is absolutely belted. Thomas on the move, heading back. Back some more, and it's gone. Home run. A big blow to the home fans. His second home run of the game. It's 7-3. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments, and right there made a statement big time. There was a sinker up in the zone. It looked like it came out of the pitcher's hand a little bit too early. Doesn't have the velocity that that good four-seam fastball does, and at the plate, he didn't miss it. Good yeah, now. It's Josh Naylor. Ball one low. Outside. When the skipper calls down to the bullpen, he's expecting the guy to come in and get outs. So far, not getting what he was hoping for. Rayleigh pulls that one down, and that'll do it. Jose Ramirez with the homer here. It's now a four-run lead at 7-3. Back after this on the show. Music made me smile. Some people called it rhythm and soul. 
bottom of the seventh. And now it's going to be Harold Ramirez. The first baseman, Harold Ramirez. Please back to work. That one is upstairs. Well, these Rays doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. One thing that really stands out to me is how they've only struck out one time. That's good discipline right there, and on top of it, they're producing more than a hit per inning. And stepping in for the Rays, John Cash Low. Line drive, caught! Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Two outs, base is empty. And now, Taylor Walls. There's the strike. Swings and sends a rocket to right. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. Around second now, going for three. And this is going to be a two-out triple. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. So the batting order turns over. Here's the left fielder, Luke Raley. In for a strike. 0-1. Oh, Two outs with a runner at third. In for a strike. And a count is 0-2. Oh, Good eye right there. The one, two. That one to first. Naylor steps on the bag. And that is the inning. The Rays strand just the one. They're down four. It's seven to three. Brendan McKay into the game. And he's had three days off since he pitched last, so expect him to be totally rested. I'm sure he's itching for this opportunity right now. Stepping up for the Guardians, Oscar Gonzalez. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Kick, San Dios. Swings and misses, struck him out. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days, but when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Bell stands in here, takes ball one low. Up the middle, and that one handled. Fires to first on the run. Low throw, and he can't take it out. Now batting the shortstop, Ahmed. Ahmed Rosario digs in for the Guardians. That one's in there. Strike one. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. Lead runner makes the turn at second. The throw in. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. Now that Just a really nice job of turning on that pitch and smoking it down the line. And there's no one playing there. So once it drops in fair, you're on your way to extra bases. And here is George Valera. That's in for a strike. Missed inside with the curve. Looks like he was trying to get to the front door with that curveball. It's definitely a finesse pitch, but it backed up a little bit on him and stayed inside. To the right side. Kemp gets it to first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Now 
back. Henry. Henry Davis digs in for the Guardians. And Boog, I'd say he's due. That misses the zone. One and oh. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. One strike. Two outs and one in scoring position. The one one is fouled off. And that skips in the dirt. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. A run on two hits, and they leave one. Last half of the eighth coming up. Guardians eight, and the Rays three. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Trevor Steffen. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Now up for Tampa Bay, Tony Kemp. The second baseman. The pitch. And yeah, that's outside. That's a strike, and a count one and one. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. And a ball and two strikes. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Right-handed reliever. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit-by-pitch to lead off the inning. That's a scary one when it's riding up above the letters. Looked to me like he just tried to overthrow the fastball a little bit. And first offering is fouled off. But the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll them up for two. Nobody out. Runner at first. Lined and that's a base hit. Lead runner touches second headed for third. He's in there. Now the shortstop, Brandon Lau. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Kemp at third. Franco on at first with nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Movement in the bullpen. Eli Morgan appears to be getting loose. Classe, a hard throwing right hander up as well. And down on strikes and one away. Well, big power guy right there and generating so now much bat speed. It's up. hard to bring oh, that to a halt go. once you've committed. He tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. And first offering is fouled off. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. This to center field. Valera moving under it. Squeezes it. Runner tags for home. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Lane Thomas next to hit for the Rays. First oh. offering misses the mark. And there's a strike. One one is fouled off. A little tardy on that fastball. Is going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. 
popped up. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And that is that. So one run on one hit. No errors and a runner left. Ninth inning coming up. Guardians eight, the Rays four. Back here at Tropicana Field, all set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the Cleveland leadoff hitter, Stephen Kwan. McKay, a 6-2 southpaw. He features a four-seam fastball, a curve, a cutter, and he works in a changeup. Late swing, foul to the left. And now the lefty. Swing and a bouncer. Lau. And he beats the throw very close right there. Well, from the time you're a little leaguer, you're taught to hustle out of the box and give it a full sprint through the base, regardless of how you hit it. And he didn't make great contact, but the effort was there, and he earns the base hit. Now, Miles Strong. And there's the strike. On the ground, right side, and he grabs it in foul ground. And he deals. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. 0 oh, 2 now. That one just misses. 0 oh, 2 count, you got the opportunity to expand the zone. Could get the chase there. Let's see what he comes back with next. Runner at first with no outs here. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. Ramirez, the next to hit, takes ball one. Next offering is downstairs. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, you're going to have to give in. Elevate his pitches. In. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around and made a nice catch. Man at first. So next will be the four-hole hitter for the Guardians, Josh Naylor. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Quad leads off first with two down to the inning. Rip, but it curls foul. That one misses. It's a ball and two strikes. And a pitch. Bows it off, still one and two. And here it comes. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. Started after it. Appeal to third. Did not go. Next pitch has popped up. And that is that. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. Bottom part of the order, 7-8-9, two up in inning number nine. Guardians eight, the Rays four. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth, Eli Morgan. He last pitched two days ago. Eli Morgan. And now the first baseman, Harold Ramirez. The first baseman. The line of the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. There's a strike. Swing and a miss. And a count. One and two. Everyone can have a little chuckle there. He's had such a great season. Rarely ever do you see that kind of swing. Next pitch just misses. Ball two. High 
High fly ball right field. Gonzalez moves under this one. And it's caught for the out. Now the Josh Lowe next to hit for the Rays. That catches the outside corner. And that's strike one. And a strike in there. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Line drive. And it stays fair. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where he could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there coming back at that at bat. That one pulled foul. The 0-1. Swing and a miss. Got him looking. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. So the lineup flips over. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Luke Rayleigh. And that one hammered Valera. Going back on this one. Back some more. And that'll do it. The Guardians with the rubber match of this three-game series. Well, the goal when you go on the road is to at least play 500 ball. Well, they've been winning series. They win this one here. And you got yourself a little bit of breathing room, but you want to keep the same mindset. Let's go into the next place, and let's take that series again. And our final here today, 8-4. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Shambi. Talk to you soon. This afternoon's ball game. First for the victorious Cleveland.